Okay. Hi right, guys. Okay. Today Well, I'm just gonna like I'm just gonna like voice how like did my drawing. So first of all I did was I did a rough sketch, which you can see in that faded yeah black of what I wanted to draw. Then I just relined the drawing and it gave me this. I want to try something, just draw just face. I, because if you actually look at most of my work in the past or even even now, I still have a problem with faces. So yeah, when I actually did that again, I still had to realign again. That's the thing. Sometimes you just have to be patient with your work. Uh, lips. I'm not gonna lie. These lips were actually. Mwah. Yeah. Yeah. As you can see, I even changed the direction in which I wanted to actually draw this character. I changed a little because I was lazy. And I didn't just want to read too much reveal on the girl. Yeah. She looks like a child now. To all you pedophiles out there, don't you dare. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. But then again, hmm, I'm not the only guy who actually sexualizes his drawing sometimes, am I? Okay, that came up wrong. Uh, <laughs> okay, we have this. I don't know, I like how the... I prefer the... I don't know, the previous design was actually nice. But I'm gonna try this out to see how it looks. And I was really much lazy. So, yeah. Now I'm done with my base work. Always painting your background first before you start to paint your character. Because that will give you this view of how the shadows or light is going to work. Not the one you're not going to do rubbish. And I like painting my eyes first because it gives me, like, ever I see my work like this, this plain, I always want to give up. So the fact that I paint my eyes and lips first gives me this. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Feel. And that's how I actually like get through my artwork most of the times. So let's keep going. I have a problem with painting um girls with first or people with fair skin. I'll keep working on that because like it's I don't know, you people's face have too much colors. That's just it. No offense. <laughs> okay. My brothers. <sighs> Yeah, for my airbrush, I pretty much did how I drew hair in my previous video, so you can check it out and tell me what you like. Please follow and subscribe. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, remember what I said about painting your background in first? Yeah, because of that, I was able to, like, just tell myself that the light should come out from that area of the hair and knowing that means I can know where the light falls all around the body and where the shadows will be yeah yeah I want to tell this I figured out that clothes actually make more or give more shade artistic feel when they are actually detailed or just have so much designs I don't know if it works for everybody, but that's where I just feel. Yeah, if the light is coming from back, that means that area near the neck is supposed to be very, very dark. As you can see. Yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks. I'll be on Instagram.